What's going on today guys? My name's Alex and today I'm gonna to show you how to change your cabin air filter on your 2009 to 2017 Dodge Ram 1500, 2500, and 3500. Quick and easily. I was at the dealer just a little while ago and they told me I had some scheduled maintenance to do on my truck. Um, I said no because I'm a mechanic by trade and I can do that myself. Regardless, I, I wanted to know how much they were going to be charging for those maintenance items. And what surprised me the most was the cabin air filter. They said they were going to charge upwards to $100 to replace that, which is absolutely crazy because it takes about 30 seconds to do, and I'll show you exactly how to do it. Anyways, guys, let's get into it. The cabin air filter is located behind the... Um, glove box on the passenger side. So first things first, we're gonna have to remove that. And I promise you, it is very simple. There is a little plastic clip right here that we need to undo. So if we just prop that up a little bit and we, with some skilled finger work here, just push that in, it should just pop out. Next, there is two little um, plastic stopper things on each side. Hopefully you can see that. So you just pulled one out. And so like I said, there's two little plastic stopper things. So what you want to do is just push towards the center and pull down. So those little plastic knobs come past the dash there. And this should just drop out like that. So now we can just move this out of the way, give us some more room. So our uh, cabin air filter is located on the right side and is right here. There'll be words that say airflow with arrows pointing down and we will revisit that in a second why that's important. So what you can see is there's a tab here that we want to push that way. There's also an arrow and there's the same thing over here. You might not be able to see it, um, but if you feel around, pretty obvious it's sticking out. Push it in towards the air filter itself and that should pop off just like that. So. This is the cabin air filter itself. As you can see, there's an arrow pointing down. Again, we will revisit that in a second. Pull this bad boy out. So you can see that mine is definitely a little bit dirty, but it is not the worst I've seen. So I'm gonna put that back and maybe on my next oil change, I will replace it. All right, so we've determined we'll be reusing this because it is um, still okay. But if you were gonna use a brand new one, the same process would apply. You come back up here. Now you simply, so you come back up here, just gently slide that in. And as we can remember, the arrows were pointing down for the airflow. So we wanna make sure that that arrow is still pointing down. Next, we grab our little cover and we just simply pop it on. You should hear two clicks one on each side and that is installed all right guys next we'll bring over the glove box and as you can see there are what looks to be four little hooks and those four little hooks just go one two three four and now i am doing this with one hand so i'm sure you can be, do this a lot easier than what i can put their hooks into their holes there and just like when we brought it out, we have these two plastic tabs right here. We want to push those in and push the glove box up. And we are pretty much installed, for, except for one part. And now finally, guys, we want to grab our little, um, our little rope, which basically helps uh, lower and lift the glove box. And you can see there's a little keyway on the plastic piece and there's also a little slot where it goes. So you may have to push up the glove box just a little bit, slip that in, and you should be good to go. And just like that, our cabin air filter is installed, our glove box is reinstalled as well, and we are good to go. Now it's hard to see why that would be worth $100. So that is how you change your cabin air filter or how you check to see if you need to replace it. If you do want to grab a cabin air filter, I will leave a couple links down below. The one I actually use, which is the mid-range, mid-range, um, is the Fram one. I think it was $17. There's the cheapo filter uh, straight from China, which is 
uh, $9. Then there's a top of the line cabin air filter that comes with like a charcoal filter and a nice little Febreze scent for $27. I don't think the cabin air filter is the most um, important maintenance item on a vehicle, but pick what you want. If there's anything that I didn't explain properly, or you still have questions, just shoot a comment below and I will try and answer that as best as I can. Enough of me rambling on. I hope that was somewhat helpful. As always, I hope you liked the video. If you did, throw me a thumbs up and maybe even think about subscribing. And I hope to see you guys in the next video.